Greetings from the International Space Station. I'm Space Station Commander Tim Copra of NASA with my NASA crewmate, Jeff Williams. We wanted to help kick off today's celebration from the coolest science lab anywhere, 250 miles above the Earth. Just like all of the students at the White House today and those across the country creating their own science projects, we love the work we're able to do in orbit to expand our knowledge and understanding of the universe. You know, in fact, we recently received a shipment of new science experiments and equipment that we're very excited to be part of. In the coming weeks and months, we're going to be tracking meteors, creating unique spare parts with our new 3D printer, and grabbing objects in space with a brand new Gecko Gripper. So there is so much to learn and understand about our world and our universe around us. And we can't wait to see what the next generation of scientists, engineers, and innovators come up with. It is you, the students of today, who will be instrumental in achieving some of our nation's biggest goals of the future, including bringing the first American men and women to the surface of Mars. So to all the students, teachers, parents, and mentors out there, remember, there's no limit to what you can learn. Thank you for your passion and commitment to discovery, and have a great science fair. Wow, from the space station to the East Garden, good Amazing. afternoon and welcome to the sixth annual White House Science Fair, the last science fair of the Obama administration. My name is Dr. Natoki Ford and I am a senior policy advisor here at the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy. I am joined by some incredible women. We have with us Ms. Carly Kloss, who is a model and founder of Code with, Code with Carly, Welcome, Thank Carly. Thank you for having me. Also, we have Miss Yara Shahidi, who is a STEM advocate and an actress. So you might know her from, or as Zoe Johnson from, <laughs> from Blackish. Yes. So thank you both for being here with us. Thank you for having us. Now, for That's those incredible. of you who do not know, the science fair was started in 2010 by President Obama as a way to recognize and celebrate amazing students from across the country who are doing awesome things in the domains of science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM. The president wanted to celebrate these students in the same way that we acknowledge our athletes who win championships like the Super Bowl or the NBA Finals. The Science Fair is also a very important part of the president's Educate to Innovate campaign which is a tremendously important way of getting more girls and boys interested in and excelling in STEM subjects. This year, we have more than six agencies and also 100 organizations that are announcing some tremendous commitments that are designed to help accelerate STEM learning. And as of this year also, we have accumulated more than $1 billion, that's billion with a B, wow. in investments from the private sector that are all designed to help support our students and STEM education. That's so, so cool. that's incredible. Yeah. in the spirit of going out with a bang, this science fair is our biggest one yet. We have with us more than 140 students from 30 states representing more than 40 organizations and STEM competitions. So it is an amazing group of people that are here today, from students who are trying to combat climate change, to finding new ways to treat cancer, to even turning science fiction into science fact by being a part of the Mars generation. So wow, we are wow. in awesome company. Yes. So with that, I think it's time for us to meet some of these awesome students, right? Let's do it, <laughs> yes. Okay, great. Hi guys. Come right on up. So you are our last student to get interviewed. Can you tell us your name and your, about your project? My name is Hari B. Maraju, and I made a low-cost animated tool to teach about the periodic table of elements for the visually impaired. Wow. Yeah. wow. That is amazing. So tell us what gave you that idea. Well, I was just learning science, and it was like so fascinating that to learn about what makes up everything around us, which is chemistry. So then I wanted to make a tool to teach about that so more people could learn about it. I love that because yes. the, the, the actual learning uh, is such an important part. Everyone on this lawn right now has, you know, been very passionate about whatever they're studying. So the actual learning process is a great thing to, um, 
to continue to. I'm in chemistry modify. right now, so <laughs> yeah, I, I could use this actually, periodic tool. Have a, I have, actually have an app on the App Store. <gasps> Tell well, us we about have to this. Download it. <laughs> Amazing. It's called the Elementor. So download it. <laughs> Uh, yes. awesome. I heard it here first, we people. Will. The Elementor. The Elementor. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And what you? are you again? I'm 12. I'm 12 <laughs> years old. I, app, I, mean, I mean, do we need to what's, say anything else? Can I ask what's your dream job? If you could um, do anything. I want to do something science-y that helps people. So maybe like I a like biomedical it. engineer or something. I like <laughs> it. A woman after my own heart. My goodness. <laughs> you are incredible. Well, Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you. And you are doing amazing things yes, to help thank people, you, which thank is you. so important. So and we'll be downloading your app. <laughs> and we're, we're, we're all downloading it today. Can and you repeat it today. into the microphone? Here. <laughs> hey, nice, to hey, nice to meet you, too.